Hello, I'm Alex Compton with Luminescence Photography in Pahrump, Nevada, where we specialize in capturing the true spirit of your loved ones in special occasions. The camera lens is made up of a series of different shaped pieces of finely cut glass which bounce onto each other and converge these lines of light into the lens. And these all vary depending upon the type of lens in use. Those which we call a normal lens try effectively to create the same uh, point of view as a human eye. Typically, we are talking about the angle of the lens in that case. In a normal lens, it's usually about a 35 to a 60 millimeter, which simulates the human eye. Bear in mind that lenses, like the human eye, also contain an aperture which works like your pupil. It's a little ring which goes in and out and focuses and changes size to allow more or less light into the lens itself. A zoom lens starts cutting in even tighter into the magnification series so you start losing all your depth of field and your side view where the focus is all straight ahead. As a result these lenses have to be shaped differently in order to take this into effect. A macro lens, same thing, you start losing a whole lot of depth of field because you're concentrating so tightly. It's as if, if you put your hand close up in front of your face, even though you can see what's outside, it's all a blur. What you see inside is the detail, the fine detail on your hand. And conversely, when you're farther out at a farther distance, you might be able to focus on it depending on the range of your lens and your angle of view on your lens you may or may not be able to have any depth of field within the background. The wide angle lens, you may do so. In the case of a normal, or what they call a fixed lens, you have a linear plane of view. It doesn't shape out and soften the edges, like a zoom lens will have a tendency to soften the surrounding edges, but the rest of them stay quite straight. Even in a simple lens, you have your little focusing ring on there, which will give it a slight zoom in and out. But usually if it's a fixed lens, saying a 500 millimeter, a distance lens, or even a short 50 millimeter lens, which kind of keeps things at a natural wide angle for you, you don't have much movement. You only have a little focusing plane within there, and everything is going to be in focus within that angle of view. When it comes to uh, zoom lenses, however, you have a couple of varieties. Most standard ones will zoom in and out depending on the size of the lens and the amount of zoom that they have on them. However, you also have some where the way that the lenses are structured, structured the different piece of com glass components inside will stay within. This particular one here is a 50 to 135. You notice that it's not moving. It's all the magnification is happening within the camera portion itself, not externally, as in this one. 